good morning students how are you getting on uh, today we are going to talk about thought and expectation in the self in human values so our today's topic is thought and expectation in the self okay <clears throat> so question may come in uh, examination explain with examples the various activities in the self briefly explain the activities of desire thought and expectation in the self with an example okay <clears throat> so let's start see the self is conscious in nature while the body is uh, physical chemical in nature the interaction between the eye and the body is in the form of exchange of information so the interaction between the eye and the body okay is in the form of exchange of information exchange of information okay so the focus of attention is on two categories of attributes of the self namely the power of the self okay and uh, corresponding and the corresponding activities as the as the manifest outcomes of these powers okay so first let's discuss about power okay this means the basic capacity in the self i they are desires thoughts and expectation what is desire desire thoughts and expectations okay so in starting uh, we can also include uh, we can also we can also include that desire thought and expectation okay <clears throat> so if we talk about power it means the basic capacity in the self they are desires thoughts and expectations okay second activities <clears throat> the activities are the activities are imagining analyzing and selecting tasting imagining analyzing analyzing selecting and tasting okay if we talk about power it was desire thoughts and expectations okay in activities imagining analyzing selecting and tasting okay <coughs> the activity of analyzing means breaking down the image into various parts or to open it up selecting or tasting is with the expectation of fulfilling our desires with the expectation of happiness so the activity of selecting and tasting is the level via which is the self interacts with the body so let's take uh, a example to understand these activities see uh, we may have desired to have respect by being the owner of a big house okay owner owner of a big house of a big house okay see this is the form this is the form of imagining okay this is a form of imagining this is a form of imagining okay we have an image in us fulfillment of this need for respect via a house okay guys so uh based on this desire we start working out the details of the house okay such as number of rooms okay stories stories 
okay um, number of rooms stories on which floor is uh, on which floor and will stay the image uh, the image of wanting respect from the house is split into many parts okay this is called analyzing what the image of wanting respect from the house is uh, split into many parts this is called analyzing okay and uh, the activity of analyzing means breaking down the image into various parts the activity of analyzing means breaking down the image into various parts okay now that we have worked out the details of the house we go out choosing the size size color etc of the room this is called selecting and tasting this is called selecting or testing okay so let's discuss a diagram power activity okay first and second first and second right okay third desire fourth thought and fifth expectation okay third imagining third imagine Amazing. Fourth, analyzing. And fifth, selecting and testing. Selecting and testing. Okay. So uh, this is this is natural acceptance. Natural acceptance. Okay, and this is this is self. I okay in this way and this way. Okay, body and information exchange. Mission. okay so it was all about desire thought and expectation okay now let's talk about see doer and enjoy okay see see doer and enjoy okay so there is a there is a relation between the self and body and uh, that body acts that body acts as an instrument of self whatever self thinks body of performs it physically body does not decide itself we can verify this by the following discussion okay i am the sir i am the seer i am the doer i am the doer or i am the enjoyer okay <coughs> suppose that when we are reading a book or listening when someone is explaining something to us when we are watching a scenery or when we are thinking we are engaged in the activities of seeing understanding now now when we see some nice scenery we say i am seeing that means our self i see via the eyes the eye don't the eyes don't see they are just instrument that enable me to see something outside okay 
different images are formed in the eyes every time but it is i who is able to relate it to the meaning of that image every time similarly i can see include in me also without eyes i can see inside in me also without the eyes for example i can see that i am getting that i am getting angry in this case i understand or know or am or i am aware that i am getting angry when i see outside the body works as an instrument next i am the doer okay once i have seen once i have seen understood something i am the one who decides what to do or not to do so i am the doer for example when i see the scenery i am the one who decides to take a picture of the scenery okay <clears throat> i use my hands to pick camera and click a picture the hands in the body are thus used as an instrument in this way i work with my hands and relax okay see doer and enjoyer I, if you talk about i am the enjoyer i saw the scenery and i took the picture i am the seer and doer so far when i see the picture i like it i am the one that enjoys it thus there is continuity of being the seer doer and enjoyer similarly when i eat i am the one that gets the taste from the tongue okay friends so it was all about human values okay uh, i hope you must have got knowledge thank you thank you very much